Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to part 18 of where I show my final albums, the full collection and we're still in the miscellaneous section and there'll be two more videos on miscellaneous and then I'll be going on to the female artists. Um, we're on STE at the moment and there's quite a few in this video but there's not an awful lot of artists so there's quite a few large collections. Uh, first up is Steel Eye Span, and I Steel Eye Span, where um, I don't know if they're still going actually, uh, an English folk band. And yeah, I do like their music, although I'm not as familiar with these albums because I've bought a lot of them recently on uh, a job lot. And I tend to play them around Christmas time. I think the reason being is that the lead singer, Maddie Pryor, has got a wonderful Christmas album that really is good. And whenever you hear that, you want to hear a bit of this. But this is almost ancient folk really, but it is very good. The next one is Pleased to See the King. Um, yeah, in the same sort of vein, very um, uh, old fashioned English folk, almost like um, dancing around apple trees and all that sort of thing. And this one, I'm not too sure which one this is called, Ten Man Mop or Mr. Reservoir Butler Rise Again. Again, more of the same. They did get a little bit poppier as uh, the years went on. This is Below the Salt and this is a little bit more accessible. And I think that the, the track off this here would be King Henry uh a saucy sailor I think those both got on to the greatest hits I'm not sure could be wrong this one here is parcel of rogues now they were getting more successful at this time and this has uh, one misty moisty morning Alison Gross uh, Rogue Nations as well uh, robbery and violins this is actually not a bad album it's easier to listen to than the first couple Steel Eye Span, now we are six, and again this is the same. And this has To Know Him Is To Love Him on it, which, believe it or not, features David Bowie on saxophone. He was recording in the same studios when they were doing this, and they asked him if he would play saxophone on it, and he did, and it's a good version. Uh, next up is Commoner's Crown, another pretty good album. And, and oh, the, um, Little Sir Hugh was the most famous track off this but there's a track called New York Girls on this which I think is absolutely brilliant and then you get their famous one which is All Around My Hat which is a very very good album and it has Black Jack Davy on it and Hard Times of Old England which is my favourite Steel Ice Band song right Rocket Cottage and yeah it's okay I don't know this one as much and again this is one of the most recent ones I bought but it's alright. And uh, Storm Force 10, another half decent album. I think we're up to about 1978 or so or 77 here. Uh, the Black Freighter, Awake Awake, The Victory. Again it's okay. Yet yeah, really do have to be in the mood for them though. This one here is Seals of Silver, which I don't think I have ever played. This was an add-on. I don't know anything about it. And the best of Steel Ice Span, which would be the one I'd go to first. And it has Go De Te, which was a hit single. Or in the Hat, Thomas the Rhymer, Alison Gross, Little Sir Hugh, Can Ye Over Frey France, Long Lincoln, Gone to America, Let Her Go Down, Black Jack Davy, and Back Goes to Limerick. It's a good album. Right, uh, we had Steel Eye Span, now we've got Steely Dan and the Royal Scam. I don't like it. It was uh, VCLT from James Griffiths, but at least I played it a couple of times. It's not my cup of tea. Jim Steinman, Bad for Good. Really good album. This was actually going to be the follow up to Bad Out of Hell for Meatloaf. And this has got the brilliant Dance In My Pants on it, absolutely brilliant. Meatloaf did record quite a few of the songs though on later albums. Right, we're going to Cat Stevens and quite a few of him. And it's Matthew and Son, the debut with Matthew and Son. 
and I love my dog on it. And here comes my baby, which was a hit for the Tremolos. This is New Masters, and I think Kitty was the only hit single off this, but this also includes the first Cut the Deepest, which was a huge hit for Rod Stewart and many other people. Cheryl Crow, of course. This here is the Collector Series. It's a double album, cheap album, really, of those Deram uh, tracks. So it's really the first two albums, or the best of the first two albums. Uh, Mona Bone Jack and the first for Island. Absolutely fantastic album with Lady Darbenville and uh, Fill My Eyes. T for the Tillerman with Father and Son, Wild World, Where Do All the Children Play? Longer Boats, a really, really good album. Regarded as his best, but I think his best is a Teaser in the Firecat from 1971. And this is the one with Morning is Broken and Moonshadow, Peace Train, The Wind, Ruby Love, How Can I Tell You, Tuesday's Dead. Absolutely brilliant album. <coughs> Catch Bullet 4, uh, a pretty good album as well. And this is the one with Sitting on It and Can't Keep It In. And the boy with the moon and star on his head. Foreigner, very underrated album with the Foreigner Suite and the Hurt, How Many Times Later and 100 I Dream. A very different type album, it's very keyboard based. Uh, Buddha in the Chocolate Box with the absolutely gorgeous Oh Very Young and it has Sun C79, Ghost Town, Ready, King of the Trees, Bad Penny. Home in the Sky, it's a good album. Greatest Hits, basically that's what it is, Greatest Hits. And um, I think this has got a different cover in America, but this was the first Cat Stevens album I owned. Numbers, another very good album, but um, it doesn't seem to get the love. It's got Whistle Star, Ban Apple Gas, which is a bit silly. But Home is absolutely gorgeous, as is Land of Free and Love and Goodbye. Very good album. Um, is it so with Remember the Days of the Old School Yard and uh, I Don't Want to Be a Star? Uh, it's alright. It's patchy but it's not a bad album. It was a dog for a don't want child for a day. There's a couple of instrumentals on this. It's alright. Then the last one before we retire was Back to Earth. And uh, yeah, these are all songs, but they're very bland. They're okay, but they're just bland. And the very best of Cat Stevens compilation from 1990. And this is a very good album. There's 18 tracks on it. Uh, it's just got all the big hits. All the most famous songs. This one here is The Laughing Apple. And this is basically uh, songs that um, he re-recorded and a few new ones as well. For example, Grandsons was an outtake from the T for the Tillerman sessions, which is very good. He redoes Blackness of the Night and the Laughing Apple, Northern Wind, but then there's a few others that are, I think, new songs. This is actually a very good album, very enjoyable. T for the Tillerman 2, and this is a re-recording of the whole album, and it's nice to hear it once. But I think that's the only time I played it. I just played it once. Um, the one I don't like is Miles From Nowhere, where it completely changes it. I just don't see the point in it, but still, I got it when it came out. I think that was released around lockdown. Uh, the songs from the original movie, Cat Stevens, Harold and Maud. Uh, this is a Record Store Day. Uh, album and the, the two new songs which weren't featured in any other albums were Don't Be Shy and If You Want to Sing Out, Sing Out which are, are okay. Again it's a good album. And then his recent one King of a Land from last year is absolutely brilliant. Shaken Stevens and Take One. It's uh, rock and roll basically, it's revivalist. And yeah, it's okay. It's got a hot dog on it. It's good fun. This old house with the number one hit, This Old House, as well as uh, Marie Marie's on this as well. Again, pretty good. Shooting Galleries also on that. It wasn't a big hit, but I always liked it. The big one, Shaky, with Green Door on it. 
and you drive me crazy and it's raining. Um, give me a heart tonight from 82. Again, it's not a bad album. It's got four singles. Give me your heart tonight. Oh, Julie, Shirley, and I can't remember what the other one is. I'll be satisfied. The Bop Won't Stop, and this is from 1983. And this has got a love worth waiting for on it. It's late. And the brilliant Cry Just a Little Bit, or Cry Just a Little Bit. Lipstick, powder and paint, as you is or as you ain't. And it's got that title track on it. Uh, Turning It Away is also a very good one. He was starting to, um, the success was starting to lessen by this time. Greatest Hits from 84. And the two new ones off this were Teardrops and Breaking Up My Heart. But it's a good compilation. Al Stewart, Ear the Cat. Played it once, didn't like it. Sorry. It was very cheap. Okay, we're getting into Rod Stewart now, and this is the original face, and this is a cheapy album of his pre-success recordings. So you get things like I don't even list them here, but I think Little Misunderstood or something like that. There's on it. I played this once. It's not very good. Rod well, Stewart Gasoline Alley is a pretty good album, and the title track's very good. It's all over now. Only a hobo, the Bob Dylan song. Always liked his version. Rod Stewart, every picture tells a story with Maggie May and uh, Reason to Believe, Mandolin Wind, very very good album. Never a Dull Moment, possibly my favourite with Angel, You Wear It Well and Mama, You've Been On My Mind, the Bob Dylan song. Sing It Again Rod, which is uh, basically a greatest hits, which is very very good. Smiler, which I think is actually good as well. It's got Sweet Little Rock and Roller on it, which is okay, but it's got Paul McCartney's Mind for Me, which is very good, and Farewell, which I think is a great track. The Best of Rod Stewart is a double album of those earlier Mercury tracks. Atlantic Crossing, yeah, this is not a bad album either. It's got um, Ceiling on it, I Don't Want to Talk About It, and this old heart of mine. A Night in the Town. And this is the one with uh, the ball trap. Pretty flamingo, I do like. But the hits off this were First Cut of the Deepest, Tonight's the Night, and The Killing of Georgie. I think it's part one and two. Okay, Footloose and Fancy Free with the fantastic hot legs on it. I've always loved that track. But the rest of the album's not great. You're in my heart was a, a big hit. You keep me hanging on as the Supremes one. I was only joking and uh, if loving you was wrong I don't want to be right. It's okay and then Blondes have more fun with Ain't Love a Bitch and Do You Think I'm Sexy. And again it's, it's alright. And uh, Rod Stewart's Greatest Hits. Huge selling album and I think this was the first Rod Stewart album I ever bought. It's got all the big hit singles. Although it doesn't have you wear it well on it for some reason. Rod Stewart, Foolish Behaviour, and this is the one with passion on it. One of my favourite track off this is a wee rocker called Better Off Dead. Tonight I'm Yours. I don't have an awful lot of Rod Stewart, but you can pick them up for peanuts. And it has Young Turks and Tonight I'm Yours on it. Body Wishes with Baby Jane. And the other one, Sweet Surrender was a single. And what am I going to do? I'm so in love with you. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Baby Jane's classic. Uh, Vagabond Heart from, I think this is 1990 or 91. This has got the Motown song on it, Rhythm of My Heart, which is like a feeling type song, but I do like it. And the other one, which is uh, Downtown Train. Okay, the faces there. A Nod's As Good As A Wink, which is a good album, Stay With Me on it. Ooh La La with the title track, and Cindy Incidentally. This is the live one, Rod Stewart Faces Live, Coast to Coast, Overture, and Beginners. And yeah, it's alright, didn't cost me very much. Less than a fibre, I think. Uh, Snakes and Ladders, The Best of the Faces, and this is a very good album, it's just got all the 
the big songs on it and the one I really like if it's on here I you can make me dance sing or anything that's only part of the title I think it's one of the longest titles of songs in uh, pop rock music okay we're going to stiff little fingers and flammable material brilliant album from 1979 with a suspect device uh, wasted life uh, alternative Ulster and the one I really love is Barbed Wire Love uh, oh, Nobody's Heroes from Stiff Little Fingers We've Gotta Get Away, Wait and See, Fly the Flag, At the Edge, the title track Ten Soldiers, this is the best album Hanks, the live album comprising uh, songs from those two, first two albums very popular live album back in the day Go for it from 1981, and this has got silver lining on it. I uh, just fade away. Uh, Roots, Radicals, Rogers, and Reggae. Again, it's a good album. As is this one here now then, from '82, and this has bits of kids on it. Price of admission. It's that uh, you fought the war for. Talk back. Very good. Then they split up, and this was released in '83. All the best, which is like a double its collection with b-sides etc on it and then whenever they got back in the late 80s this is flags and emblems and this is actually not a bad album either i don't know this one as well stop stand up and shout may have been the single off this but yeah decent but that's it for stiff little fingers for me stone roses and their debut album from 89 very good i want to be a door she bangs the drum Waterfall, very good album, and uh, it's only recently that I got to appreciate that album. And now we're going to the Stranglers, and there's quite a few of these. So their debut, Rattus Norvega, is absolutely brilliant album. Nobody's Heroes, and it's got a title track and uh, something better change on. It's a good album, but it's nowhere near as good as the debut. Black and White with Tank and uh, Nice and Sleazy and uh, Toilers on the Sea, very very good album. Stranglers Live, and I think this was released in 79 but I think it's from a 77 concert because it's basically taken, uh, the songs are taken from the first two albums. The Raven, another very good album with Duchess and uh, Nuclear Device and uh, Don't Bring Harry, very very good title track is probably the best song off it. Uh, the Gospel According to the Men in Black. I really like this. You have to be in the mood for this one though. Uh, it has got uh, Just Like Nothing on Earth which is Just Like Nothing on Earth and Thrown Away on it. And of course the instrumental Wolves in Black and their best ever songs. La Folie which is very good with Golden Brown. Let me introduce you to a family. Uh, the title track as well. Non-stop pin up very good album. The collection 1977 to 1982 which really is a good singles collection. The one song off that new one was Strange Little Girl. Feline from 83 absolutely love this album with the singles European Female, Midnight Summer Dream and Paradise but every track is very good. It's a really well produced album. Also very good is Oral Sculpture from 1984, Ice Queen's Great Skin Deep, Let Me Down Easy and No Mercy with the singles, Mad Hatter is another great song, Uptown's Good is a good album, Dreamtime from 86, it's okay, it's got Always the Sun on it, Was It Due, Nice and Nice, Big in America, Shaking Like a Leaf, so there's four singles taken off this, uh, Strangler's Ten which was the last one with Hugh Cornwall. It's not very well produced even though it is produced by Roy Thomas Baker uh, but some of the songs are really good. Um, Sweet Smell Success and 96 Tears were the singles uh, but Man of the Earth was probably the best track off it. Stranger's Greatest Hits 77 to 1990 which is a decent Greatest Hits but uh, there's an awful lot missing. Only 14 tracks off it but the proper vinyl best of is Peaches the very best of which is great although they do put a couple of remixes in this instead of the originals I think the remix of um, 
always the sun and get a grip on yourself I would have preferred the originals the Stranglers again Dark Matters which is their last album and this is surprisingly very good I haven't played this for a while but I must give it another go I played this constantly whenever I bought it okay um, this is Nosferatu this is Hugh Cornwell and Robert Williams from 1979 Hugh Cornwell obviously being the lead singer of the Stranglers uh, yeah it's okay it's not brilliant actually this one is much better Hugh Cornwell Hoover Dam and I played this recently and this is a very very good album and then Hugh Cornwell again and Monster and this is from about 2018 or 2017 2018 I think um, yeah this is good it's a double album the second album is uh, called Re uh, Re Restoration um, basically he does like acoustic versions of Stranger songs and the first album is Monster and again good good album couple more left the Straubs bursting at the seams um, yeah it's okay that's not great but I only like this because of part of the union and so on which I've always loved as a kid Straubs again, deep cuts, I never played it. I remember picking it up out of a indoor market for about 10p, but never played it. And the last two are the Stray Cats and their debut album, which is very good with Runaway Boys, Rockless Town, and Stray Cats Strut. And lastly, the Stray Cats Runt and Rave, which um, has got She's Sexy and 17 on it not as good as the first album okay so that's part 18 done and I'll be carrying on with STY I wonder who that could be so until then all the best now bye bye